Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in another video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So today in this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make a VIP admin and group door. Now, this door is pretty simple to make, and I'm going to be doing this um, by showing you this model I created for you guys. It's already made, so if you want, go to the description and grab that model. It's um, a free model. You can just grab it and put it into your game, which we're going to do here in a second, though. But um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. It means so much to me, you guys. We're almost at 15,000, which is really insane, and I am so happy. Um, I'm, I'm really happy we're almost at 15,000. makes me super happy. Um, join the Discord in the description as well, because we also do help out people there that need help with scripting problems or anything about that. So, um, yeah, feel free to join that. So, um, what you're going to do, go to the description, look for the model, and you're going to be getting this right here. Or you can just follow the tutorial and the steps, whatever you like. And you're going to claim this right here. It's going to just um, say try and studio or item own. You can download it. Whatever you want to do, just feel free to grab this right here. And you are going to be putting this, um, going into your Roblox studio, going to toolbox, which you can be found in the home tab right up here, going to your inventory and clicking this right here um so i don't know why i got all those red output functions so it's pretty easy you got a folder called special doors and you're gonna ungroup these insert places so we're gonna put this to starter gui we're gonna put this to workspace we're gonna hit control u control u and we're done and delete that one folder right there so this is how it works in starter gui this is a starter basically this what a player sees when they join the game um, we're gonna be putting this script in here it's a local script the reason we're doing local is we don't want the player to collide with the door so this is a special door that is going to let the player walk through it if they are an admin they have the VIP game pass or they're a certain rank in the group so if you look right here we have admin group and VIP door um, you're able to customize this however you like make your own and you also if you want I might need him. I'll, I'll show you in a second here how you could probably um, make it so if it's a, um, a model instead, because you'll probably be able to do this like that, and it's going to say admin door. I'll teach you that in a second here. But um, so what you want to do is open it up, and you're going to look at this. It's going to be a little short script. It's super simple. So we have check. We do the game pass service, um, which is basically marketplace service. Sorry. Um, and we're doing we have a few locals here. We have game pass door group door admin door and the player This is the local player as in the person you um, And this is going to be where the doors are so we're going inside special doors We're grabbing VIP door for game pass group and then admin door then we have these IDs right here So for VIP game pass you're gonna go to your game and when you're gonna get your uh, Game pass so let's say for secret service right here. I had you just bought one of the things um, if we go to VIP um able to just click this nine number right here and you're basically able to um get that so that is going to be the um basically the uh the id then we have the group id right here so um you are going to be putting your group in as in actually right here we have a secret service too um this group id right here pretty simple um then what you're going to do is you're going to grab the minimum rank so this is the rank that you want the person to be above so if the person is above this rank then they're able to enter the door so this could work for cafe and everything if you want to just use those doors that's another thing you could do but um basically let's say you wanted them to be uh just the default group rank you're just going to be doing two or one but we want to check that they're above 250 and i'm 255 because that's the top owner rank then we have this table called admin so this table is actually really simple. What it is, is it's the prof profile number. So um, I'm loading up my profile real quick. Basically, what you get to do is grab your um, profile. Let's see if it loads or it's going to take 20 years. And it's going to be this number right here. So once you get that, then you will just be putting this right here like that. Um, and you basically will be putting a comma every time you create a new one. So new admin and you could comment out and put the names that you want. It's, it's actually really simple. Um, if you just have one person, then uh, just put the name and then get rid of that comma. But that's about it. So this is what we do. If table dot find and this is a table right here for admins. Ad, if we check in the table admins and we find the player dot user ID of whatever. So we check in here if we find that player user ID. Then we're going to make the admin door as in saying this one right here can collide will be set to false. If they own the game pass of this VIP game pass right here, the player, then the game pass door will be set to full, uh, can collide will be set to false. If the player is get, we get the rank of their group and their group ID of this group. If their rank is greater than or equal to, so if they are equal to 50 or they're greater than it, then 
the group door will be false. Now, let's say you wanted all admins to have entered to every door. So you can just do group door dot can collide equals false. Now, if we are going to get the doors um, that are a group door, let's say this. So we're going to duplicate this and we are going to call this um, whatever test part press door, whatever. Let's just create a good amount of it. So I'm just going to do this. It's going to be a little weird. So we're going to go like this, um, like that. And then we are going to grab this. We're going to group it and we're going to call it a uh, test door. So then what we're going to do is we're going to do local test door equals game dot workspace. Wait for child. Um, then we're going to go special doors and then dot test store. So this is going to be a model. Now in here, we're going to do four. Let's do um, V in pairs. And then we're gonna do, oh, test door, get descendants. So anything inside there, do. So if V is a, um, yeah, is a part, then V dot can collide equals false. I think that should work. <laughs> or I might've typed something wrong. Let's pray to God that should work. Um, so let's see right here. So basically what we're doing is, um, you just want to set those values and it's good. It's already ready and made for you. So that's the good part about this, but, um, let's see. Okay. It worked perfectly. So that's the basic scripting of it. So if you have a model, you can do that. And then also to specifically say this, you could just say, um, you could say, uh, you could call V something else, but what we're doing is it, if it's a model, we want to get every part inside of it and set the can collide to false. Now let's say if it's a union, make sure to change this to union or mesh or anything like that. Cause that can happen. So that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to comment, subscribe, like, and share. We are almost at 50,000. I am so happy. Um, but I'm gonna be seeing you guys in the next video. I got a lot of videos coming. I hope you join them. They're pretty simple. They're pretty fun. And I got some hard ones coming too soon. So I hope to see you guys in the next one. Uh, to a place, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.